Hi everyone, I'm Jenna and today I'm going to be reviewing I Wrote This For You and Only You by Please Find This. Now, this book isn't a novel. It's actually a collection of poems and this was actually started as a blog post by this author and there he collaborated with a photographer, which I can't remember his name, and on there there's photography along with the poetry. And I believe, but do not quote on this because I'm not entirely sure, but I believe this book houses many of the poems that are on the blog as well as some new ones. I'm going to be sharing with you all my absolute favorite poems from this book so that you guys can have a little taste of what this author's writing style is like. Society inherent in air. If you must know, this is what I'm scared of. I'm scared that everyone else is more who they are than who I am. I think everyone else just looks at the things that they feel or think and says, of course, this is what I feel or think. This is who I am. But I'm never sure of what I feel or think. And I'm scared because I'm holding all the things I could feel or think on a boat. That the slightest breeze would tip over, and if that happens, I will fall with all of it into the water. I'm scared. I will be left with nothing and no idea who I am. I'm scared of the wind. Love like sunlight. I hope one day you get to love someone like you love breathing air or drinking water, that they are fundamental to existence, needed and necessary. I hope you get to love like gravity loves, like the sun loves the earth, like warm sunlight upon soil that makes plants grow. I hope one day you get to love like that. The Ambassador of Bad Things when something really, really bad happens to you, people will say to you, I'm sorry, even if that had nothing to do with what happened. And it's because sometimes things happen that are so bad that what they really mean is, I am acting as an ambassador and on behalf of everything that must hurt so much right now, I say sorry. Because sometimes things are so bad, someone just has to say it. The sad sea waves. When I look at you, I see the person you used to be, drowning in the person you are. And it makes me nostalgic and sad because I know you must look at me and see the same thing. The desire to live underwater forever. If I breathe you in and you breathe me out, I swear we can breathe forever. I swear I'll find summer in your winter and spring in your autumn. And always, hands at the end of your fingers, arms at the end of your shoulders. And I swear, when we run out of forever, when we run out of air, your name will be the last word that my lungs make air for. And here is the last poem that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And it's called, The Light That Shines When Things End. I hope that in the future they invent a small golden light that follows you everywhere. And when something is about to end, it shines brightly so you know it's about to end. And if you're never going to see someone again, it will shine brightly. And both of you can be polite and say, it was nice to have you in my life while I did. Good luck with everything that happens after now. And maybe... If you're never going to eat at the same restaurant again, it'll shine, and you can order everything off the menu you've never tried. Maybe, if someone's about to buy a car, the light will shine and you can take for one last spin. Maybe, if you're with a group of friends who will never be together again, all your lights will shine at the same time, and you'll know, and then you can hold each other and whisper, This was so good. Oh my god. This was so good. So as you can see, this guy is an amazing writer. And I would highly recommend this book to anyone, especially if you are a fan of 
poetry. And if you couldn't already guess, I gave this book a a 5 out of 5 stars. And I can't wait to read more of this guy's work in the future. That rounds out this video for today. I really hope you liked it, and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!